What is up dudes? Today I thought I would show you, I'm just gonna show you, I got some new rims. So here, I got some new rims. They're uh, SVE. I don't know what that is, what SVE is, but uh, they should be good. And they're going on my Mazda tree. Right now, I'm gonna take off the stock. I don't have any modified suspension, nothing like that. We're just gonna go put them on. Now these are 18 inch and uh, they're 9.5 width. And uh, the tires that are going on it are 215, 45, 18. Uh, right now, I'm just cleaning up a little bit of brake dust that I want to do before I, uh, I, I, before I put them on. As you can see, I got this stuff right here. It's the uh, easy off, heavy duty, but it's oven cleaner. So I put the oven cleaner on there. Now you can see some of the brake dust here. And no, I know what you're thinking. Oh, why don't you just put some uh, degreaser on it or something? No, degreaser will not work, okay? Uh, I sprayed degreaser on it, I sprayed uh, a bunch of different types of chemicals, nothing's coming off, so this is my last resort. If it doesn't come off, the only other thing you can do is either paint them or acid wash them. And also, uh, I wanted to show you, this is my, uh, this is my dog. His name's Todd. See, he knows his name, but yeah, he's a new addition. So I'm gonna uh, clean these rims up and then I will go put them on a car. So what I've been doing for the last like two hours is one friggin' rim, the one that has like the embedded brake dust on it. And uh, what I did was put it on, I tried cleaning it with the oven cleaner and uh, it, it cleaned for sure. It cleaned really nice. But the thing is, is it took off some of the, the finish right there. But I left it on for a long time because I tried scrubbing it right away. But anyways, I let it sit on there for too long. But now, I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm having problems with. So there is uh, brake dust inside, that's not gonna come off. Um, this right here though, what I've been doing is I've been taking this very, very gingerly and just Trying to uh, see how it's flaking right off, but you literally have to make sure you don't uh, scratch your rim or anything like that. So, and you can see it, it's pretty bad. So what I think happened is Buddy had his uh, brakes metal on metal. He said these rims were off a of Crown Vic. I'm gonna tell you more about these rims and what happened because the situation is kind of messed up. So I'm gonna finish cleaning these and we'll put them on my car. Yeah, it's a little wet out, so I'm gonna set you guys up and you can see me uh, switch these tires over, or just a couple. And Todd's gonna be here too, because he likes to be out. I just got him hooked up next to the snow blower. So he'll have fun. for like experimental purposes how what how big it's going so if you look here if you look here it's a big wide one this is a little one oh no whoa it almost dropped so and that's just a tire plug but I mean yeah that's that size to that size. So it's pretty it's gonna be a pretty big drastic change and I'm gonna put that on. I 
All right. So I took those two off that were small. Todd's just been chilling. But yeah, this is what they look like now. And it's fully lowered onto the ground. And it looks like I got like some really bad wheel gap here. Like that looks pretty, pretty wide. And then if you come back here and you look right there, you can see the poke. And then if you look, if you look at that tire, well, that tire and that tire, really friggin' big. And this side, no, nothing's poked with my stock wheels. And then this side, it's poked. And that side's poked. So I'm gonna put the other side on, so I got it all even. And then I'll look at it some, some more. But, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Okay, so both sides on, that side's on, and then, look at that wheel poke. I mean, I don't know if you guys like, so, let me tell you too, this is a stock suspension, and it's also got no, uh, no wheel spacers, nothing, just pure rims on stock suspension. What? Those are brass. It's brass. And also, my car's a little bit dirty, but I got the bubble shift, which sounds good. And also, I got the, uh, Whoa. I also got the the headliner, the the bits and bites headliner with the black pillars and the black visors. So I'm gonna go over to the car wash, wash it up. I'm gonna get a lot of that oven cleaner off there. And uh, once that's off, it'll give me the true look of how good this is gonna look. So Okay, so I just got done from the car wash, and, uh, the, well, honestly, it didn't do crap. Because if you look here, I still got axle grease, because the guy that I got these off of blew his, uh, his axle seal, and it slung all inside. So, I mean, overall, though, it looks really good. I mean, the, the steering is stiff, and, and all that jazz, but apart from that... It's good. So, what'd you forget? What? Do I gotta, uh, hold on. I don't, Pops. What do you? All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to uh, carry some of this these groceries out, so I'll be right back. Yeah. So, anyways, I just gave my dad a dollar for the shopping carts here, cause you gotta pay 25 cents to get a shopping cart here. Anyways, uh, yeah. So the guy blew his wheel seal and then got it all over, but it was more or less worried about like the oven cleaner this is the one that had the oven cleaner on it came out the best but uh it's highly corrosive if you if you don't leave if you leave it on your car for too long so anyways what happened was with these with these rims what happened was i uh i was on the good old i was on the good old facebook marketplace and uh, I, I always go on there and I offer everybody like 50% uh, of what their asking price is. I always, I, uh, I always offer them that, pretty much. Like if somebody has something for sale for like 500 bucks, I'll say like, I'll give you 250, you know? 
So anyways, I came across these rims and uh, the guy wanted 450 for them, Canadian. So I messaged him, I said, I'll give you $200 for them. Uh, that was late at night, I woke up the next morning and he said, he said, yes. I said, okay, uh, when can I get them? He said, right now. And then I said, okay, what's your address? And uh, he got back to me about like 30 minutes later with his address. So anyways, I, I messaged him, I said, well, I'm coming from my house to your house, which is about an hour and a half away, one way. And I said, please confirm that you're gonna be home at this exact time and I will be there. The guy doesn't get back to me for four hours. Like right about, I'm about to lay, I got my pajamas on and I'm relaxing and stuff. He messaged me, he says, are you almost here? Uh, no, I said, I have no reason to go to your location. Like I'm not visiting any friends or family. I'm not gonna be in the area. My only reason to be there is to buy those rims. And then he said, okay, we'll come. So I show up at the address. It was like one of those like duplexes, but it didn't have his number. It had the the number of the house. So I was like, oh, I don't know if uh, this is the right place. So I go, I go in, I open, I open, uh, I go on the porch and a guy walks out that looks like the guy on Facebook, right? And uh, he's, he had a glass of wine, he's stumbling and stuff, lost all his wine, and I said, hey, it's your neighbor. I was just joking around with him, and he's like, what? Like, all worried, like, like deer's, deer, uh, a deer in the headlights. And I was like, nah, I'm just joking. I'm here to buy the rims. And then he's like, oh, man, you tricked me. Here they are. So... He takes me out to a shed that's like packed with garbage. I had to dig through like a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of friggin' stuff. Finally found the rims and uh, I was like, okay. Uh, he's like, well, what are you gonna put these on? I was like, well, I'm gonna try and put them on my Mazda tree. And he's like, seriously, what are you putting them on? And I was like, I don't know what kind of reply that was. So I was like, uh, I thought of a another, pretty much another, um, another car that had that bolt pattern. I was like, oh, uh, Honda Civic, because I know those are four by one fourteen point three, and he had them advertised as, uh, sorry, five by one fourteen point three, and he had them advertised as five by one fourteen. So I think it was not getting searched up. In a lot of search engines because there's not many vehicles that have 5 by 114 if any uh, so anyways when he accepted the 200 bucks I thought that was kind of weird so anyways I load them up in the car which was good I load them up uh, I had to put a trash bag on one of them because he blew the wheel seal was full of dirt and stuff and didn't want that all over the place load them up close the trunk and then I give the guy a wad of 20s, okay? He's like, what's this? I was like, that's the cash. And then he, oh, he's like, well, how much is here? And I said, oh, that's the amount. Count it to see if there's any extra. So he's counting it, the 200 bucks and 20s. And he's like, oh, come on, man. You can do better than that. Gives me the money. And I was like, well, wait a minute. That's what you agreed on, and I still didn't take the money back from him, so I pulled out my phone, because I had my phone on me, and I was like, man, look at the message here. I clearly say, well, you take 200, you say yes, and then, and then all this, and he's like, oh, man, I'm pissed off about that. Get the F out of here now. Like, he was drunk and pissed off, so I was like, all right, no questions asked. I just said, okay, got in the car, and I'm about to leave. I look in the back seat because I have my my mom and dad with me. And my mom, she's out there still talking with the guy, like telling him, like, "Oh, we're really sorry. There was a confusion. We'll uh, we'll try and do better next time." And I'm just like, "Ma, get in the damn car. Let's go." And then we left. The guy uh, gave me a one-star review on Facebook Marketplace as a seller, which was not very nice. 
And that's the story of how I came across and got these rims. Leave a comment down below what you think it looks like on my car. Do you think my car should be lowered? What kind of modification do you think I should do to my car? Or uh, tell me you if you don't like these rims. Like, maybe they don't look good, or maybe they're not your style, or maybe they're damaged or dirty, or I don't know. Just let me know what you think. Or do you think, like, I got a good deal or a bad deal, and if you'd put them on your car or not? Thanks so much, guys. See you next time. And... Toddy!